Welcome back, folks, to Scripting for Linguists. I am your host, Earl Kerr Brown. I have this question for us today. When calculating lexical diversity, which is faster, Python or Julia? In this episode, I'm operationalizing lexical diversity as the MTLD metric, or the measure of textual lexical diversity, which was proposed by McCarthy in 2005 in his dissertation at the University of uh, Memphis. And here it is explained in um, McCarthy and Jarvis 2010. And it's a measure of how varied a vocabulary is in either speech or writing. And it um, looks at the number of unique words divided by the number of running words, but using a, a, a moving window approach, where, for example, right here, if we look at the first time we see of, that's the first um, occurrence of of, we have a unique divided by running word total of one. We have the second word, we still have one, meaning all the words in here are still unique. And then we have a third word, people, and a fourth word, uh, by, here where my cursor is. And then here, we have the again for the second time. So four out of those five words are unique. So four divided by five is 0.8. That's why we have 0.8 right there. And then we add people again. So now we have six total words, running words, and only four of which are unique. So we have a ratio of 0.667. Anyway, the idea is that's, that's what you do. You have a, this moving sliding window and you keep track of how many consecutive words, words have that ratio above 0.72 is the threshold. So anyway, that's, I don't want to get into the details here, but that is the measure of uh, lexical diversity I'm using in this video. So we are going to use our old friend, the Spotify podcast data set. I have 230 million words of it, of the billion words that it, it entails. We're going to use it. And we're going to use a module called the Lexical Richness module in Python. And it's right here. It, it um, has MTLD already coded up. So I'm just going to use it. And here it is. Here's the code in Python that I'm going to use uh, for the Python runs. And then I created a Julia script that I translated this, this logic here from Python into Julia, just my own handwritten Julia, um, imitating or translating this Python script or this Python function within that module. Okay, so let's take a look at the code. We go over here. Let's look at our, our Python code first. Let's go down about here. Anyway, so here it is. There's not much here. Um, the, the workhorse is this module called lexical richness and specifically the MTLD attribute on the object, the uh, lexical richness object that you create there on my lines 14 and 15 right there. And I'm going to use one single really big file. It has about a quarter of that Spotify podcast data set. So it has 230 million words in this one TXT file called bigbadboy.txt on my hard drive. And I just simply um, keep track of how much time it takes to get the lexical diversity. In this case, again, it's MTLD in that big, massive file. And then I just append it to uh, a list and I get the mean and median. So um, that's what we are going to do. And in fact, we have already done so. Before I started the video, I did this. Let's take a look at the results here. Let me, oops, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to do this. Okay. So I'm using um, Python version 3.12.2 at the bottom part of my screen. Let me zoom in again, actually. 3.12.2 is what I'm using in Python. And you can see down here at the bottom part of my screen, I actually have it print out the MTLD score just so I can make sure it's getting the same one every time, especially between Python and Julia. And you can see on the far right, let me zoom out a little bit here. We can see that it took 102 seconds, 126 seconds, 122, 122, 122 again, 123 down here, 123, etc. 123, 122. So we get a mean of 121.3 seconds and a median of 122.8 seconds. I think I will rely on the median more because we had this, this short outlier um, at the very top with 102. So I'm going to rely, rely more on this uh, median of 122.8 there. Good. 
And then I translated this into Julia, like I mentioned. I'll just show you my Julia script here real quick. Um, I created a bunch of functions to do what happens in that module with the object when you initiate an object from the class definition, right? Um, there's a pre-processing function. There's a tokenizing function there. Uh, we get rid of punctuation and stuff. Here is the sub MTLD um, function that gets called by the larger MTLD function. We don't have to look too closely here. I'll leave a link in the description um, to uh, these scripts, these two scripts, my Python and Julia scripts for this video. I'll leave a uh, link in the description. And then here it is. I, I, um, this is the main MTLD function. Anyway, it's just, it basically just a direct translation from that Python module to Julia here. And I um, go ahead and just run it and run it 10 times as well. Do a, a 10 trial test here and print out the elapsed time as well as the MTLD to make sure we get the exact same number. And uh, as you may have already guessed at this point, I have done so. I did so before the video started. And I'll just um, go up here. So I'm using down at the bottom part of my screen or actually midpoint of my screen. I'm using Julia version 1.10.0 on this computer. And I have um, the 10 runs right here. I ran these before the video started. Just to, I just want to double check. I'm getting the exact same MTLD score as I did above in Python. And that is correct. The exact same score down to the trillionth of a decimal point on the right hand side of that decimal point there. And the times we're getting here are 72, 73, 74, and the rest are 74. So the mean is 74.3 and the median is 74.5. Okay, good. So let's jump over to a spreadsheet and look at this. So if we look at Python, going over about 230 million words in one TXT file, trying to get the lexical diversity measure MTLD, uh, let's look, look at the median more. The median was 122.8 seconds. And in Julia, on row three here, we have 74.5 seconds. And so if we were to take Python as the base, Julia only takes about 61% of the time. So S Julia was only took you know 61% uh, of the time that Python took to get through um, those 230 million words and get lexical diversity specifically the MTLD measure. Now you may ask, well, what happens if it's a smaller file? I don't have 230 million words sitting in my, my file, right? So what I did is I actually looked at, um, I also ran the same script on um, just one of, the, one of the files of that big corpus. It has about 14,000 words rather than 230 million. Only has about 14,000 words, so it's a good size document, maybe a long article, academic article. And I ran that. Um, I ran it as well. And we can see here that I have um, the results already. I ran this before starting the video. And we have um, in Python, we're back in Python now, looking at Python. We have 0 0.004899 seconds, so that's about five milliseconds, right below five milliseconds there, right below five milliseconds, right above five milliseconds there, et cetera, et cetera. So our median is right below five milliseconds at 0 0.00491 seconds. So if you move the decimal point three spots to the right, you end up with milliseconds. So we're looking at 4.9 milliseconds to get through about 14,000 words. Did the same thing with Julia, and we see these numbers right in here, um, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, uh, about 4 milliseconds, 4 milliseconds. We have this long outlier at 42 milliseconds there, or 0 0.042 seconds. And so if we look at the median, we're looking at um, about 4 milliseconds. So with Python, it was right below 5, and Julia is about 0 0.004 seconds, or 4 milliseconds. So the take-home message is if you have a small document, it's not a big deal. You know, one millisecond saving uh, is not a huge savings. But if you have a larger document, right, and you want to get lexical diversity, there is um, a good speed up with using Julia. I don't know if you can see this, this was not very big. Let's look at this. Yeah, pretty good speed up. It only takes about 61% of the time for Julia to do what Python does at 100% of the time, right? So, yeah, that is the take home message of this video is that when calculating lexical diversity, Julia actually is faster. Good job, Jules, for beating out Python in this race. 
uh, to get lexical diversity and specifically the MTLD function. So there you have it. Julia won a race against Python with a linguistic uh, task, a corpus linguistic task, really, to look at lexical diversity. Thanks for joining. See you next time.